Hello everyone, my name is Python and welcome back to the fourth episode of my Terraria Ranger playthrough. Now once again guys, thank you so much for the support you showed in the previous episode. And of course, if you guys want to show your love for the series and you are still hyped for this series, then do of course be sure to drop a like rating now. Today, my friends, today we are going to be heading over to the left-hand side of the world because we have ourselves a pretty decent bow with 13 range damage. I feel like we should be able to do a decent job at surviving over there. And not only that, but a lot of you guys were sending in suggestions regarding what kinds of weapons we should be using. And, well, actually, let's go ahead and uh, do a little thing here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, buy myself a stack of those. And then what we're going to do with those is make them into ice torches. Okay, so one stack of ice torches, and then what we can do with them is we can therefore make ourselves some frost burnt arrows, which, uh, as you can see, do more damage than the flaming arrows. So these should be pretty dang good in terms of damage. So nine damage plus thirteen damage is twenty-two, and then obviously I think the frost burn may give them a, a frost debuff as well. So that'll be really really awesome. So there we go, that's looking good. All right, folks, we're looking good so far. We've got just as arrows available to us as well, which of course is what the fallen stars are going to be used for, if not for the star cannon. So yeah. Alrighty, so we've got our storage room, we've got our three NPC houses, and things are looking good. Yeah, buddy. Wait, right, I want to do something real quick. My SOD is going a little bit mad right now. I'm going to buy one more torch, and then I'm going to make the rest of the torches into ice torches. And what I should do is do this, right? Replace all the regular torches with uh, with ice torches. That would make sense, wouldn't it, in terms of the design? So here we go. Let's just do this first of all. And then, yeah, we will, of course, head over to the Desert Bime and whatever may be beyond it. So here we go, folks. We are now going on our exploration session. We do have a recall potion to our disposal should we wind up getting into a sticky situation. But, uh, you know, I think we should be good to go. Hey, buddy. Ah, oh, 140 health. He's got more health than me. Ha, 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 ha. No, no. And no, no. There we go, son. Give me that. Oh, give me that back. I love the frostburn arrow. <laughs> so sometimes it gives you uh, frostburn arrows back, and then sometimes it will just go ahead. Oh, jeez. And then sometimes it will just go ahead and give you back regular arrows. Right. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to quickly bridge over this thing. I'm thinking we bridge over just like up here or something. Oh, goodness me. 100. Oh, he's only got 100 health. That's like nothing, isn't it? Huh. All right. Well, I mean, I, I can work with that. All right, let's get ourselves ten more. Bridge our way over this thing. There we go, and another couple, and that'll do the job. All right, fantastic. So we can head over this way. I do want the arrow back. I feel like all the arrows are sacred right now. All right, hey buddy. Ha! How much health do you have? 120. You've got more health than those flying outline swarmers. What kind of sense does that make? I don't even know, dude. Okay, so let's continue heading over this way. Who knows? We could be really, really lucky, and we could have a desert temple on this world. When, when's the last time I had a desert temple? I can't even remember. It's not a guaranteed thing that happens on your Terraria world. It is a, a percentage chance upon the world generation that you will, of course, get a, a, a temple. Obviously, that would be awesome. And what would be even more awesome is if we got the sandstorm of the bottle. Uh, oh, hey, buddies. <laughs> it's like little dudes right there. Okay, cool. Ha! Boom! Dead. Right, what is that? Oh, that's a that's an arrow thing. No, can you not? All right, there we go. Fantastic. Ha! Come on. Oh, get shredded, boy. Hiya! What? Wow. How much do you guys have? I don't even know. All right, what's down there? There is something down there. I think it may be a crimson altar. Um. Yeah, well, no complaints for me. I mean, crimson altars are pretty darn cool, aren't they? So yeah. Alrighty. So we've got ourselves yet another desert bime. Wow. How many desert bimes do we have? Well, I mean, the the flip side of that is the more desert bimes, the more chances we have of a uh, of a desert temple. Well, logically speaking, that would make sense, wouldn't it? Alrighty. So I've got a feeling though that the uh, that the dungeon is on the left hand side. Oh wait, hang on a minute. No, I'm hearing jungle music. Oh jeez, I don't know if I want to be over here, dude. Uh, uh, no, this is not a good idea. All right. We're not going to go into the jungle for the simple fact that that is just a bad idea, flat out. So, yeah. Alright, folks, here we are. In the biome that needs no introduction because it is red and crimson is red. Ha! Huh. No, 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 no! There we go, thank you very much for not killing me there, son. Ah. Oh, now we've got freaking these guys. Ah, no, no, 
no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, I want to get past, boy. Boom! Dead. All right, let's keep going. Can we pick up some more death weeds, perhaps? Let's go ahead and uh, get rid of these here uh, thorns. I think that'd be a cool idea. All right, okay, so we've got a, a crimson desert. Interesting. Ha! Nope. You're not killing me! My bow skills are next to none. Ha! Dead. All right, yeah, man. I'm freaking taking all of your asses down. Hey, do you mind? Anyway, as I was saying, I'm taking all of your asses down. Oh, God, this is really, really dangerous, actually. No, 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 no. Oh, I am making some big mistakes coming here. I shouldn't hang around. That is the problem with the crimson. The longer you hang around, the more mobs there are going to be. Ah! Come on! You're going to give me heart when you die? Nope, of course he isn't. You joke bag! All right, well, uh, uh, we don't even have any way of healing up. This sucks. We really should be here. Oh, man. All right, well. Ha! If my bow skills are brilliant, then I won't need. Ah! Nope. Nope! No! Ah! 46 damage! Holy crap, expert mode is rough. <laughs> That's fu- wait, what is that? Oh, it's the grave. I thought for some reason that was a meat grinder. You know, the meat grinder, it gives you like those flesh block things. Dang it! Well, there goes my money. Ah, oh, man. I don't even think I was a part way through that thing. Huh. Looks like the desert was spanning all the way up there, though. Can you see that? There's like a big ass- It's a big chasm there. That looks a bit dangerous. Hmm. Right. Well then, we can't go to the left and we can't go to the right. So the only way is down, right? So here's what we're going to do. A bit of a change of plan. I think what we need to do first of all is get ourselves some potions real quick. Uh, four. Really? Is that what we have? Huh? Apparently it is. Well then, I, I am really, really poor. <laughs> but anyways, like I said, change of plan. We're going to go to the anthill in the desert barn. We're going to go underground in an attempt to find ourselves some cool stuff. Okay, so once again, I'm going to do a quick jump cut until the point where we get there. And we will delve down together, friends. And here we are, folks. We're now at the anthill. We're going to try and get in here without dying. And uh, we will hopefully find ourselves some epic stuff. Starting off with a crimson altar. Just there. That's pretty cool. But what we need to do is we need to head far down if we want to be finding ourselves some uh, underground houses. And of course some heart crystals as well. Both of which would be super appreciated. So we've got ourselves a little pot over here. Uh, might as well pick it up. Uh, got some torches in there. Kind of nice. I'll tell you what would be coolest if we had a demolitionist and I would be able to make myself or buy myself more to the point. Can you like... No. 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 Ah, okay! Everywhere I go is just death! Holy crap, this is rough! Everywhere I go is just death! Man! 120 health, no defense. It's not doing us any favors, is it, huh? Ugh, okay, right. Well, I guess we'll have to stick to the snow climb then, won't we? And just try to take out all of the ice bats as we go along and stuff and... Oh, Jesus, man, we're not doing very well, are we, today? But anyways, we will get ourselves some objectives done. We will find ourselves a house. We will get ourselves some new accessories. Because, man, I am determined. I'm determined, folks. I'm a determined python today. I want to get myself some epic new gear. And I want to move on with my life. And not be stuck with no defense and all that kind of stuff. I wouldn't make myself wood armor. But uh, I really don't like the look of it. It's a terrible looking armor, to be honest. It's, it's nice, functionally. But it's just ugly. I don't like it. All right, here we go. Okay, that's going down a long way. That's going down an extremely long way. What you, how many did that take up? Wow. That took up a hell of a load of rope. That's incredible. I have not... That's quite the chasm, isn't it? <laughs> Jeez. Do, uh, no, no, no. Catch yourself on the way. There we go. All right, fantastic. Boom. And what an arrows. Boom. What have we got? Silver. Great. Not really that useful. Oh, geez. Here we go. Here we go. Go on then. You want to go? Hey! Whoa! He did 80 damage to me? What the hell? Yo! <laughs> That's ridiculous. Alright. Alright. Here we go, folks. Here we go. So, we've got ourselves a marble biome right next to the granite biome. You never know. I can see a house over there. In fact, I'm pretty convinced I can see a house. What is that? Yeah, it is. Sweet! There's a bunny statue as well. <laughs> Alright. Oh, wow, there's marble. I didn't know there were marble sha- Oh, that's not a marble chandelier. It's a silver one. 
<laughs> well, the the white the whiteness gave me hope, and uh, well, it, it wasn't to be the case, unfortunately. Ha! There you go. Get placed down. I'm gonna put this one down here, and uh, oh no, not in the bin. Boom. Get placed. Thank you very much. All right. So what have we got inside this one, buddies? Uh, hey, we've got a magic mirror. Okay. No longer will we need to worry about having recall potions on us. I am pretty happy about that. Oh. I don't know if you guys can see that up there, but if you ever find these kind of formations where my mouse is right now, those are money piles. You do not want to miss those, folks, and you especially don't want to die with them, which I feel like I might wind up doing. I really hope not, because that would be embarrassing. All right, here we go. Big money, big money, big money. How much are we going to get? Boom! 13? We got 13 gold from that? Blimey. Most coin portals don't give you that much. That's craziness. Oh, wow. There's a freaking army of gladiator hoplite dudes down there. I don't think I'm wanting to go down there, if I'm honest with you guys. That looks like death. It just looks like death. I don't want to go on the wrong side. Oh, jeez. Here we go. Do we dare? Ha! Ha! Ah! Yeah! I did it without dying, folks. Oh, mate. I'm a genius. Fantastic. And I got myself a crap ton of copper from it. Man, I don't need no freaking crummy-ass copper. I want myself better stuff. All right. Let's get down here. So, do we dare take out all of the hoplites? The ah! Nope. What the? Oh, there's a little formation in the way. Do we dare take out all the hoplites? Because there's a chance they might give me gladiator armor. That would be pretty cool, right? Hey, you will you please? Hey, we've got a... Hey, the traveling merchants have arrived. Oh! What? <laughs> what? They're going to take my gold! No! No! I want that gold, you sons of guns! I want that gold! I want a bloody... No! No, I've got to get down! I've got to get down! A real quick sharp! we got to get down there! Absolutely, like, hilariously quick! Alright, come on, boys! I want my gold back! I want my gold back! That's 11 gold early game! That's, like, the world! That is, like, the entire world supply of gold I've just lost! I've got to get it back! Come on! Come on! Quickly! 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 No obstacles! No obstacles! Come on! Here we go! Here we go! Here we go! Uh, okay! Go! 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 Down! 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 And over here! Okay! Hi! Hi back! Hi back! I don't need you right now! Get out of it! All right! I am! I am not in a good mood right now! Come on! Come on! If these guys are despawned, I'm gonna be so mad! They're, they've despawned, haven't they? They've des They've actually despawned. Okay. Right. Terraria, relogic, please. I beg of you. I'm begging you, please. When you die in expert mode, please allow the despawn timers of any mobs that carry your money, please allow the despawn timers to be a hell of a load more than what that was. That was less than, what, 30 seconds and they still despawn my damn coins, man. That's ridiculous. I ain't happy with that. Come on, bro. I know it's expert mode and all that, but, you know, come on. At least let the despawn timers be a little bit more. Hey, we've got a night vision helmet. <laughs> I now look like a badass. And a, and a little bit of a goofball. Oh, for goodness sake. All right, well, this is starting to annoy me mildly, actually. I am not happy with that. I'm not happy with losing 11 gold that early in the game just after finding it. Anyways... Calm Python is calm. Let's get back to it. We'll see what this guy has. If he's selling... Oh, my! Come on. Oh, expert mode is so rough. I can't even jump there anymore. Hey, buddy. I would get over to you, but uh, alas, I cannot. All right. Boom. 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 Right. That should make it a little bit easier. Oh, I'm so mad. I'm so mad right now. I am indeed mad. You're selling this now? You're selling this now? Oh, Terraria, what are you doing to me today, bro? What are you doing to me today? Oh, the life form analyzer is probably the best value thing we can get. Uh, that's, oh, just generic increased damage. Huh. If I had seven gold, I would buy that and the life form analyzer. Is there even a slight possibility? Even the slightest of possibilities that we might have enough to get that. I really have no idea. Let's get all of our gems out real quick. That's probably going to be port of call number one. Uh, let's quick stack all this stuff. Do we have anything in here that might be worth something? Nope. Nope. And nope. 
I don't know, man. This is going to be a tall task. If we have enough, I'm going to be really surprised. Two gold. Okay. 30 silver. Uh, what do you guys think? Do we have enough? Five gold. Six gold. Oh, come on, boys. Come on, boys. We must be able to scrounge up 40 silver coins. Three silver. Six silver. Six silver again. Oh, my God. We don't have enough. I don't know what I can sell, bro. That's got 21. Uh, grenades. Mm, platinum bow? I don't know. I need to sell some stuff in order to get ourselves 40 silver somehow. How are we going to do this? I think we may have to just do the ye olde method of just farming up mobs. Okay, right. Well, as a... We're going to buy this. It's violent. And I got it. I've got to try and get some gold. I have to try and get some gold from somewhere, okay? Uh, right. I'm thi mm. thinking maybe going back down and trying to find some pots and destroying some enemies down there. I have no idea what the time is right now. Let me just go and get rid of the background and the video settings real quick. I need to see what time it is. So it's around when the sun gets to like just below the health bar ish or just below the mana bar. That's when the that's when the traveling merchant goes away. So that leaves us around seven or so minutes. I'm going to say seven minutes in order to try and scrounge ourselves up. 40 silver coins. That shouldn't be that difficult, should it? Shouldn't be that difficult. It's gonna be what we try and go for. Uh, I don't think I don't think that copper is gonna really give us that amount. It's not really gonna cut the mustard, really. Wait, can we not make a little bit of a shortcut? Oh yeah, we can. We can make a shortcut here. Hmm, that might be worth doing actually. It's gonna save us a lot of time and uh, and effort in order to. Uh, go! All right, here we go. Can I like make my way up here? Hey yeah! Sticky bombs. I need more sticky bombs. Boom! Come on, boys. Come on. I need even more. hey -ya! Come on. Come on, man. Come on, dude. This is going to be our final goal for the episode. We've got to try and buy that gi because it's pretty good. And it can be used as ranged armor because it's just 5% increased general damage, not just 5% increased, like, magic damage or something like that, you know? It's actually, like, a generic accessory which we can indeed use, which is awesome. Alright, so here we go. We've got this place here. Let's uh, place the rest of these down. And that guy, ah, if he was going to go through the walls, he would have got destroyed. <laughs> and that would have been really satisfying as well. Alright, can I like make, make my way down there? Okay, awesome. Alright, so 40 silver. That's all we need. 40 silver. Can I get some from there? No, nope, that is going to be something else. Right. We are looking for 40 silver. I am seeing some gems up there. They may be the things that we need, actually. Uh, if they are rubies, then they're going to be worth a fair amount. Oh, they are rubies. Ooh, boys. I think we did it. I think... Th oh, okay. I think we did it. Okay, and we've got seven silver there. There's probably going to be some more in here. At least I hope there is. Nope, there's bombs there. I think we may have enough. Five rubies may be enough. But the thing is... What we've managed to do now is we sold 10 rubies that we had before. We've got 5 here, which of course totals up to 15. So should we have kept all of our rubies, we would have been able to make ourselves a ruby hook. So we've kind of missed out on that. But check this out. We now have 2 gold coins. And that is indeed enough to make ourselves or buy ourselves the gi. Which of course is what we are going to get. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. 5% increased damage and crit chance, 10% increased melee and movement speed. Boom! On you go, boys. And it's got four defense. That's pretty nice, isn't it? Wow, look at us. We kind of look like we have ninja armor on. <laughs> I don't even know. All right, so all we need is like a pair of pants now, right? And then uh, we'll be pretty much good. Yeah? Yeah. Seems, seems, seems legit. Oh, man. I'm so mad about the rubies, though. I feel like we really could have utilized them and uh, done good stuff with them, you know? Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> oh, right. Well, well, we managed to get ourselves the life form analyzer and we managed to get ourselves the gi. That is seven gold coins in total. We lost 11 gold coins, which I gotta be honest, as you guys probably noticed, I was not happy about in the slightest. Those blooming javelin dudes absolutely, like, spammed me with it, bro. <laughs> they really did. It was craziness. It was just sheer... An utter craziness. But anyways, guys, it's been made clear that we can't go to the left. 
because we've got the jungle. It's made clear that we can't go to the underground desert because it's just filled with those blooming antlion charger dudes. And it's been made clear that we also cannot go to our right hand side into the crimson because we just don't have the power to do so. So in the next episode, we're just going to have to continue exploring this underground section in an attempt to find ourselves some epic stuff. So we want to find ourselves underground houses and life crystals. Those two are the things that I want to find. But anyways, guys, on that note, it is going to be time to end this one here. I want to thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy this episode, and of course you are excited to see more, do of course be sure to drop a like rating. And of course you can subscribe if you want to know in the future videos of ads. But anyways, guys, I apologize for the slight raging on my part, but you got to feel me, man. I only just got those gold coins and I freaking lost them almost immediately. That's, uh, that's, that's mildly annoying. <laughs> Oh dear, oh dear. But anyways, guys, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate your continued support as per the norm. And I'll see you guys in the next one.